Fiction gives us a second chance which life denies us. How meaningful is it? In this busy world where we are all behind productivity, self-help and getting more things done in our day, we are so much behind the self-help genre that we consider reading fiction a waste of time. But fiction is indeed very much underrated in this world of overachievers. Hi guys, this is Neha, third year medical student from Bangalore. If you consider the same regarding fiction and you consider it as a waste of time, you are not to be blamed. I was of the same opinion and though I had read very much story books and comics in my younger days, as I grew older I never considered uh, reading fiction and I moved towards the self-help genre as uh, many of us do. But it was until last year when my friend recommended the Shiva Trilogy which is an amazing work of fiction by Mish Tripathi. And that series truly rekindled my love for reading fiction and I can't thank my friend enough for it. So in this video I am sharing some benefits of reading fiction over non-fiction. That's the thing about books. They let you travel to new worlds without actually moving your feet. Books truly open new worlds. It puts us in the shoes of the protagonist and we tend to experience the situations through the eyes of the protagonist and see the reaction to the same. It gives us new perspectives on life situations. There was this cartoon uh, where uh, a child opens a book and that child instantly gets transported in the, into the story in the book and gets to live the uh, story in 3D. So that's what a good book can do to you. It transports you to an entirely new world and um, it's a whole sort of a new experience. According to a recent study in neuroscience, reading fiction help us develop the skills of empathy and critical thinking. In the fast-paced world around us, empathy is something that most of us lack, but yet it is one of the most needed soft skill. So reading fiction can help us develop the same. When we read a fiction, we tend to think deeply about the situations explained in the book. We tend to think what we would have done differently if we were in the situation cited in the book or if we would have followed the same things as cited in the book. So that develops uh, in us a uh, critical thinking ability. So according to a famous psychologist, people who read fiction are better at social cognition and they better understand other people's feelings and thoughts. That's what empathy is all about. Fiction also provides the much needed escape from the reality. The real life circumstances around us can be very stressful at times. So this, uh, what this fiction does is it reduces our stress levels and uh, relaxes the brain, calms down the brain and uh, when you pick a book of fiction just before going to bed, it also improves the sleep quality and reduces the resistance we face while falling asleep. So if you are looking for specific data, reading fiction reduces stress 68% more than listening to music, 100% more than drinking a cup of tea. 300% more than going for a walk and 600% more than playing a video game. So what are you waiting for? Pick up that book of fiction which is waiting for you and just indulge into it. So according to various studies conducted, readers go through lesser uh, age related memory decline. To be precise, 32% lesser risk of age related memory decline is seen in, among readers compared to non-readers. And also it has a protective effect against certain neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Not only this, fiction also reduces the risk of depression among the vulnerable people. Reading instances uh, related to action taking or motor activities in the fiction can light up our motor cortex and we experience it as if we are doing that action. And uh, this uh, helps improve the connections in the brain and it has a lot of added benefits. Fiction helps us build our vocabulary, which not only helps us sound smart, but it helps to better express our feelings and emotions. So it has an added advantage of improving our communication skills, which is one of the most needed skill in the present world. In fact, fiction adds a lot more to our vocabulary and comprehension skills as compared to the non-fiction work. And it is a well-established fact that one who can communicate better has an added advantage over others' peers in the same field.
Reading fiction can also lead to a state of well-being and overall improvement in the happiness quotient. If you are still not convinced, hear it from the OGs of 21st century. Bill Gates, Elon Musk and Mark Cuban in some of their interviews have quoted that how reading certain works of fiction have helped them and uh, help them develop some real life skills. So fiction is a lot more than just unrealistic stories. They can add a lot to our personality overall. So as Neil Gaiman says, fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. So I am sharing the links to some of my favorite fiction works of lately. Do check them out and don't forget to comment on your favorite fiction. Until next time, take care.